Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk about my favorite day-to-day -day chemical organic type based sunscreens and I'm going to do a favorite um, day outside all day type sunscreens, high performance sunscreens. So if you don't see a favorite of yours in this video, just be aware. I'm also going to make a different one, separate one for mineral based sunscreens. So keep that in mind if there's some great sunscreens that you love that I mentioned here, they might be in my high performance video. These are just ones I trust on simply a day-to-day -day basis. If I'm going to be outside for an hour, maybe two, these are ones I would use days I'm outside maybe 10 minutes or maybe even not at all. So day-to-day -day simple sunscreens that don't necessarily, I find, super high performance, but just work really nicely under makeup or alone and just great for day-to-day -day use. So, um, okay, so I'm going to start with the Suncut UV Protect Essence. I really enjoy this one. Um, what I like about it is it has really no noticeable scent to it. It works nice under makeup. It feels hydrating. It's got some actual nice additional beneficial ingredients in it. It's also super affordable. The bottle is large and I find it washes off at the end of the day pretty nicely and just plays well with other products. So this one is a really nice one. Super affordable, super large bottle. Enjoy it a lot. Um, another one is the Skin Aqua Gold. I always love the gold. There is a similar version with a white bottle and a gold cap. I don't recommend that. If you can, get the gold version. It's just a more updated formula. This one also really nice. It does have alcohol in it, but it has no fragrance in it. So it's a nice day-to-day -day sunscreen. And look, the little two. I, I'm trying to remember if these are owned by the same brand or not. Cozy is Suncut. This is... Well, maybe they're not. Okay. Anyway, I get them confused. So, okay. Another one is the Alley Extra UV Gel. This one's really nice. Actually, I do tend to trust this on days and be outside a bit more. Uh, it seems to work very nicely. I've used this a lot. Never got red, never got freckled. Tested again the other day. Still very happy with it. No fragrance. Does contain a little bit of alcohol, a lot of alcohol. So keep that in mind. But Alley has had their sunscreens. They've done well in all the tests that they've been in it's a great sunscreen okay so this one is a reformulation of the round lab birch sun cream that one um had severe issues with the purito scandal and thankfully they pulled it off the market reformulated it it's already been tested works very nicely it feels just like a moisturizer um not one i would pick on a day i'm going to be outside all day but just on a day-to-day -day basis, running errands outside for a few minutes at a time. It's a nice one. It works very nicely under makeup. Uh, no fragrance, no alcohol. So if you have very sensitive skin to alcohol, that's a nice option worth checking out. Another really nice one is the uh, Verdi, Verdi, I always say this wrong, Verdio. I always say Verdio. Verdio. Verdio, Verdio. Tomato, tomato. Uh, they have a couple, they have this version, and then they also have a liquid version. I prefer this version. This one seems to be geared towards people with super dry skin, so keep that one in mind. People with oilier skin might notice this one is a little bit shiny, has a little bit of a radiant finish. I usually set with a little bit, bit of powder and it works fine, but people with oilier skin types tend to not like this one so much. But if you have drier skin, it's very nice. Um, so this one is another one. I would not pick this one if I'm going to be outside all day. Actually, I tested this one uh, extensively more recently. And it is okay as a day-to-day -day sunscreen, but I do not think it has the highest protection. Um, it's labeled SPF 50. I'm thinking, in my opinion, it might be closer to 30 just based on my testing of it. But it is a nice day-to-day -day sunscreen. Don't wear it if you're going to be outside all day or outside even in hot sun. But if you're out inside a lot, this one is an okay one. Um, okay, another one. This one's actually made in the U.S. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen. This one is really nice. Uh, this one is made in the U.S., so it's not one I would choose if I'm going to be outside all day, going to the beach, in the hot sun, outside a lot. But if you're inside a lot, doing a little bit of errands, this one is just fine. Feels very nice. Feels very hydrating. Uh, applies transparently, clear, no white cast, which is amazing. Um, okay, so the next one is the Ultraviolet SPF 30. This one is a um, Australian-based brand. They have several different sunscreens. I've tried them all, and this one is my favorite because it has no noticeable scent in it, no drying types of alcohol, no fragrance. It's very nice, sensitive, skin-friendly. 
A lot of good filters. This one's a great one uh, for a day-to-day -day basis. And finally, Hello Sunday. This is a newer brand. They just came to Cult Beauty and I picked up all of their sunscreens. And this is their moisturizer, face moisturizer with SPF 50. And I found this is my favorite. They also have one that's in a serum version. I like that one, but the face moisturizer one I found to be my favorite. It works very nicely under makeup. Has no, has a very, very light scent, but no real, it's not super noticeable. It dissipates almost immediately. Uh, no alcohols in it. Several filters, which seem to be very effective. And I really like using this one on a day-to-day -day basis. So these are my favorite ones. I've got a lot more coming in my high-performance ones. Some of these are very great just on day basis. Most of these have no real white cast, which is great, and uh, no fragrance. So these are my faves. I'm interested in hearing what your favorite go-to day-to-day sunscreen is and what you love about it. And then later I'll do my mineral ones. So I will see you guys more later. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you. And I'll see you more later. Okay, bye guys.